This is Prince Dice here, the Royal Financial Investment Group. I'm then going to do it, today. I'm going to do a quick video about how to find stocks on E-Trade. Um, so, for example, you know when you're looking up a stock, you have to have a stock symbol. So you're like, okay, what is the stock symbol? So, prime example, we're going to go here. I already have Google pulled up, and let's say if you know a company like, let's say Google, for example. So we're going to type in Google stock. Let's just just type in Google stock. So boom, right here it says Google, right? G O O G L E. So it has NASDAQ. NASDAQ is the index that it's traded up under. Then you have G O O G right here. G O O G, that is the stock symbol. So that is the stock symbol of Google. G O O G. So let's go for another one, for example. Let's say if you're looking for Ford, Ford stock, right? You go to Ford stock, you see it's N Y S E. New York Stock Exchange, its stock symbol is F. So that is the stock symbol. So why the stock symbol is important? So when you go look up a stock, for example, if you type in F, which we know is forward now, it'll take you, boom, to that particular stock, right? And it'll give you a little research on it or whatever. You can go to the snapshot of the stock and it'll tell you about that stock. So that's what a stock symbol is. So let's go back. Let's go to research and let's go to stocks. If you don't have an E-Trade account, I have another video that tells you how to set up one step by step. It doesn't require any money, anything like that. If you want to trade, of course, it requires you to have money to that you have put in there. But for example, uh, this is just a basic video of research. So boom, you go to research, you go to stocks. So let's say if you're like, well, I don't know which stocks I want to get. You know, I know what forward. I just showed you how to look up stocks you already know. So if you know what forward is, you type in forward stock symbol. You can type in Disney. Coca-Cola, etc., Verizon, or whatever. So let's go here. Let's go to Stock Streamer. So as it's coming up, as you go to Stock Streamer, you can go to, this is a streamer where you can say uh, what you want to look for. Market capitalization, how much money that's the company's, uh, how many outstanding shares it has, essentially how much it's worth, essentially kind of, is uh, how many shares it has times how many shares that it has outstanding times the price. And you know, the uh, micro cap all the way up to mega cap. So you can go down, let's say if you're looking for stocks in the industry, let's say, well, I think healthcare is the place you want to be. So boom, you elect healthcare. Then you can take it down a little bit more. You want to go to major drugs, healthcare facilities, biotechnology, let's say major drugs. Boom, you want to go to, you want to find stocks with, that's in healthcare, that's a major drug contributor or whatever. Now here, price and volume. You can go down to, hey, I only have this much money. I want to know stocks from $5 a share. Then you can go down and get the opinions. These are opinions that people put out that they say, hey, these are positive stocks. You can say, hey, I want to go to the uh, S&P Capital IQ that have five-star ratings. Boom. You know, these are other investment advisors and financial gurus that say, hey, this is a good stock. So you want to be like, okay, well, so you want to say, well, I want to go down to the smart consensus and I want to get a recommendation that the smart consensus, it tells you when to buy, hold and sell. So you can go and you can decide. So let's I'm gonna click that off for example. And also you can go ahead and go on down to other things as well. But for example, quick thing, you want to go to healthcare, made of drugs. Right here it tells you you have 25. Boom, you hit view results. And now you have... A list of the 25 stocks that you have picked. Now, these are companies I have never heard of. Now, I heard of Briar. You see right here? Or Bayer, I meant to say, not Briar, Bayer. Um, you know, I'm thinking of the aspirins, the Bayer aspirins, or stuff like that. So, these are the companies I haven't heard of. So, this is the symbol, right? This is the industry. Their prior closed. It telling you the last day when the market ended. What was it trading for? 1150. In the last five days, it has dropped five. Of five percent, five point five eight percent. In the last four weeks, it have grown seventeen point eight three percent. And over the last fifty two weeks, which is a year, it has grown more than fifty seven, fifty seven point seventy five percent. So in the last year, this stock has essentially almost doubled. And it's still use market capitalization. So let's say, well, I want to look more into that. So this is a summary. Let's say if you go to opinions. So if you go to opinions, this will tell you these are like. Top people, the market edge company, they're telling you, analysts are saying, hold it. Uh, the smart 
uh, not me, I mean, the smart consensus is saying hold it. The market edge, people are saying go long, hold it for a while. Uh, the Thomason, the, the uh, Thomason, they're telling you neutral. You know, we don't know who should go up or, you know, we don't know where it's really going to go. So it's telling you something big is maybe, uh, maybe about to happen. So you can go down and get the different opinions. Then you can go to uh, price performance, you know, and see how it's done in the last four weeks. Uh, ha how has it done compared to the S&P 500 in the last four weeks? It has beaten the S&P 500 by 16.4%. If you don't know what the S&P 500 is, I'm going to make another video about that, but I have a video called What is the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ? You can check out that video. It'll break that down for you. So these are different things you can look into. You're just like, wow, I like this company here. Let me go ahead and I want to purchase it. So you click on it. So you click up on it. You click on it. It's going to give you a snapshot of that particular stock. So now you have a snapshot here. It tells you when it opened, when it closed. Um, you can go down here and get some um, a company overview. Okay, I want to know what is this company. Okay, they're based out of New Haven, Connecticut. This is their headquarters. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Biometric company focus on discovery, development, commercialized treatment of infected disease, the companies, and whatever. Now, I'm not recommending this stock. I'm just doing this just for uh, a quick overview of how you find things. So, you like that about the stock. You can come over here and you can look at the latest headlines. You can look at the latest press releases. You can look at the uh, analyst research, what they're telling you. They're saying it's negative. They're saying it's whole. They're saying it, uh, go long on it. You can go here to a quick chart. Like today, you see it's been in pretty, you see today has been pretty bearish. And what you mean is the going down has been declining. You can look at a, click over here and go to a five day chart. Go to a three month chart. Three months, you can tell it's been going up over the last year. Boom. Right here about May, June time frame. Boom. You had a, it started up with trend. So that's a quick thing you can do. You can go to charts. You can go to news. Uh, you can buy options. You can look at earnings. So let's say if you decide to buy it, then boom, you click here, you hit the buy button, and you buy it. So now I have just showed you how you can go through, find a particular stock that you never heard of this company. I have never heard of this company. But you can find a company, you can do research on it, and you can buy that particular stock. I hope this video was of great um, value to you. Um, I wish you the best. As always, subscribe, like, comment, share, all that other good stuff. Thank you for watching and have a great day.